Hey, I'm Patrick. And I'm Melissa. And we are Paranormal Patrick. And we just want you to know, never, never give, give up. up. He wanted to share his story, but he, he needed to really be ready to do it. I want to thank, the, I only have 313 subscribers, so I want to thank every one of y'all uh, for being a subscriber uh, on YouTube. And like I say, I was very nervous that night. Uh, I've been in front of the camera before, but not in front of the camera with a whole lot of people. So hopefully that's going to improve as time goes on. Because at this point, I've already done more videos. And you'll see me get better over time, you know. Thank you for coming on my journey with us. But you know what, I ain't, I'm not gonna let a, a heart attack slow me down. I mean, it didn't slow me down before. We definitely want, we enjoy doing this and we wanna keep doing it. So, taking care of everybody and making sure we're all sane. I might not be, but. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, it's been a little crazy. So, we're, we're gonna get it up there. Stay tuned, we have lots of things coming. Hey guys, I'm Paranormal Patrick. And I'm Melissa. And George TV the fam asked us to do a motivational video for you guys. And of course we were very honored to to do that for him and for you guys. Um, George is a, a big loving part of our community and one of our best friends. Yes he is. We love you George. So, love you man. So um, we can um, I guess we can tell you a little bit about ourselves and, and how we uh, how we met and everything. <laughs> um, how did we meet? Uh, um, well, we met while we were in high school. Yeah, while we were in high school at a skating rink. In a local skating rink, because you know back then there wasn't many places for us to go in the small town. Yeah. Um, um, we went to different schools. So. Pass notes, all that stuff to kind of, you know, to vocational school and, and pass notes to friends and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But, um, you see, we, we dated for about three years. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Something like that. Um, then we got married in September of 92. Mm -hmm. um, September 12th, right? Mm hmm. Um, so this okay. year we're going to be celebrating our 29th wedding anniversary. So I wouldn't want to do life with nobody else but him. So we got two great kids. Um, 
life has been interesting. <laughs> yeah. One's one. 24. 25 and 25. 14. So. And 14. So. Um. I don't know. As far as the motivation of the part. Um. You know, we've lived through it. Uh. You just got to do it. You can't let anything hold you back from living. Mm -hmm. um, there's so many things I could tell you. Uh, just, just don't let it. Don't let the bills and, and all this stuff get you down. It, God will find a way, mm -hmm. and He always has for us, and he always will yes. um, we've been through some major things in our lives um, I've been through all kinds of surgeries um, of course the last one being a heart attack and uh, triple bypass um, just a year ago just a year ago and um, things have been hard um, you know, we had, we had this dream of um, becoming paranormal investigators. Um, at first, it just started off as, as something, you know, just to just to have fun with, and it still is. We, we still just have fun with it. Um, and as far as you know, equipment and stuff, take your time. You know, you don't need much. If anybody out there is looking to do. The whole paranormal, uh, the whole paranormal thing. Just use what you got. Use what you got until you can get more. It'll come. If they're out there and they want to talk to you, they will. <clears throat> um. And of course, everybody knows. You know, well, most people would know now by now if. You know, we we investigated last year about this time, and we had a rough night at it. And the next day, that's when I had my heart attack. Um, that night, when we were asleep at the place we were at, uh, I did get touched with a hot hand. And, uh, and days after that, you know, life life got a whole lot crazier. Um, and and it was right in the time where uh, COVID-19 was busting out around our area mm -hmm. and so they were taking every precaution they could um, but we got through it mm -hmm. I'm still fighting things side effects but I got through it we got through it you did I mean, physically, your body has to mend. Physically, your body has to heal. And when I came home, I could barely walk, much less take a shower or shave or anything like that. I was really having trouble just kind of eating and stuff, you know. But um, I got through it. That's the thing. We got through. Mm -hmm. So never give up on anything you do. Anything, any dreams that you have, never give up on. Mm -hmm. George has a great thing going here. You know, the, just the, just the words "never give up" um, has inspired us. Mm -hmm. um, and we take that advice. And we use it, and there are people in our uh, YouTube community and our YouTube family that I don't know what we would do if something happened to any of them. Yeah, because they are family. They are family. They're family more than than our regular family. Um, mm -hmm. And I know everybody's problems are different. You know, you may be going through uh, diabetes or heart conditions or cancer. 
Mm -hmm. All those, yeah. Or just overall depression because depression. of this pandemic. Depression is a big part of everybody's lives, I think, now. And we are all, we're going through that as well. And nobody knows, nobody can tell behind the scenes that mm -hmm. I take, I take a handful of pills in the morning and I take a handful of pills at night and that I have to give myself shots and but my family keeps me going and they inspire me and I don't know what I'd do without them um, I really don't know how to inspire people um, without going you know too far into it other than mm -hmm. you know be be you mm -hmm. and don't let anybody stand in the way of that and don't stress the small stuff don't stress the small stuff just get out there and just do it just do it if this pandemic taught us anything drop all the stuff you don't want to do anymore and get out there and live we all need to get out there and do what we want to do. Drop all the small stuff and live. Yeah. You want to start a business? Start a business. You want to do something totally different and off the wall? Do it. Go for it. Don't let anything stop you. Yes, definitely don't. Don't wait. <laughs> and, uh, get out. If it's something that you're not you're sure you can do, then, then get out there and try it. Because mm -hmm. nine times out of ten, you can do it. Mm -hmm. You just have to keep pushing yourself and keep motivated. Um, and God's always got your back. Um, <clears throat> always. And your family. If you don't have family that supports you, you always have this YouTube family that supports you. We have a huge YouTube family that has just become a huge part of our life. And I don't know what we would do without them. Yes, we, we definitely um, have a lot more friends on YouTube mm -hmm. uh, than we do in our surrounding areas, you know. Mm -hmm. And I feel like we can trust, trust them a whole lot more mm -hmm. than we can trust... Yeah. Um, because they inspire us. Mm -hmm. Because George is inspiring, you know, insp mm -hmm. he inspires everybody. You know, he, he's, mm -hmm. he's a great guy. Yes. Um, and I'm so glad to see him back. Um, my biggest dream is to, to meet up with George one day and, and, and investigate with him. Maybe not even investigate, just to hang out. Just to hang, yeah, we could just hang out. I, I don't mean, even need to investigate with these, with everybody. I just want to hang out. It's I not just, all about the investigations. No, it's just it's, hang out. It's what you learn in the process yeah. of investigating. You're not going to go out there and you're not going to do things right mm -hmm. the first time, the, mm -hmm. the tenth time, the twentieth mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. You know, there's always going to be something that you're not doing right, but just, that's, okay mm -hmm. you can do it next time mm -hmm. just never give up never give up and never think you're too old to start something new because <laughs> for, he's 49 i'm 48 and where you started this youtube journey last year year before last mm -hmm. so and i'm just starting t-shirt business and you know we're always hustling and we're always doing what we got to do to to live and enjoy life so we want to be able to get out there and enjoy life, so we're going to do what we got to do to do it. So, don't ever think you're too old to follow your dreams. Just keep on following your dreams. Don't ever give up. You know, I don't want to get to the end of my life and think, man, I should have done that. Yes, there's I'll, some I'll, place I wanted to go or some right. place, something I wanted to do. Right. Just do it. When you can, just do it. I know some things take money, but if it doesn't take money, just do it. Just do it. We've, we've been, I'm going to tell you, we've been down, and then this is the second heart attack I've had, and the first time we were so far down that, you know, churches were coming by and giving us food, um, 
in money to pay our rent and things like that um, just to let us survive. We had no income for six months. For six months, we were able to survive because of the kindness of strangers. Not the kindness of family or friends, but strangers who stepped in and helped us out when we needed it the most. So we could, if we can make it six months with no income, then we could do anything. We can do it, yeah. And you can do anything. And that's what we, we tell ourselves all the time. If we could do that for six months, we could do anything. So we just keep, keep going. And we do everything we do for us and for our family because we want better. Yep. We, we didn't come from much. Our, neither one of our parents had much. I mean, everything that they had, they had love for us, but we didn't have a lot of material things. We didn't have money. We didn't have, you know, the big vacation, the big houses, the nice vehicles. I mean, we had, we had what we needed. We had love. And, you know, we've struggled. We don't have money right now. I mean... It's, money has always been a struggle, but we just, we get up every day and we keep going. So just, we want to do better for our family. We want to have, we just want to enjoy life. So just get out there and enjoy life. Don't wait. Enjoy it. Enjoy your life. Push yourself. Do things you want to do. If you don't, if you don't have the way, the means of doing it, um, you just gotta find a way. Find a way. There's there's so many ways out there that you can f follow your dreams, you know. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> and, and the way I look at it is that we have been through a lot of hardships in our life. I mean, we've been probably, we've had peaks and valleys. We've been in the valleys more than we've been in the peaks. And the way I look at it is we must be destined for greatness because Satan is always trying to bring us down. So that's the way we look at it. You know, we don't give up because we know we are destined to, for greatness. So we keep pushing forward and we keep doing what we need to do because we know that something better is out there for us. And when one door closes, we just open up another one and we keep going. And that's what we're doing right now. We didn't close doors behind us and we're moving forward. That's right. We never look back. We just keep going. And every day we get up, we just be positive. We always look for the positive in everything. I've always done that. And always, even in all of the chaos and all of the hardships we've been through, I always look for the positive. Even all the way th through the losses we've had, we've had her mom and dad pass, we've had my mom and dad pass, my sister just passed in December. Many family members. But you gotta keep living. You gotta get up every morning, put your feet on the ground, and go do what you need to do. Mm -hmm. Just gotta keep going, one foot in front of the other. If we can do it, you can do it. Never Sorry. give up. Never give up. We're not going to give up, and you guys, you're going to see great things from us. We love each and every one of our fans. Yes, we do. And we thank you, George, for, for giving us this opportunity to yes. to express ourselves a little bit. And um, till then, um, we love you guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Stay positive. Stay positive. Never give up. Never give up.